This cast represents the black obelisk, which probably stood among several similar stelae in a small public square on the citadel of Kalhu, the capital of Assyria, during the 9th and 8th centuries BCE. It was a public monument commemorating the military successes of Shalmaneser III in both words and pictures. It was meant to remind everyone, both literate and illiterate, of the irresistible power of the Assyrian king and his army. Three steps, reminiscent of a Mesopotamian temple tower or ziggurat, surmount the monument. It's clear that the artist who carved the release had never seen some of the animals he was called upon to represent. For example, the bizarre-looking human-headed animals in the third row from the top on the left face are actually monkeys or apes. The unicorn in the same row on the right face has not been convincingly identified, although the rhinoceros has been suggested. Of interest for biblical history is the second panel from the top on the front face, which records the submission of Jehu, king of Israel, an event that took place on Mount Carmel near the Mediterranean Sea. Jehu is shown on his hands and knees with his face to the ground in front of the Assyrian king. In the sky above can be seen the winged sun disk of the Assyrian god Shamash and the eight-pointed star of Ishtar. Jehu's tribute included unspecified amounts of gold, silver, and tin, as well as a number of golden vessels. Ironically, Jehu is referred to in the caption as the son of Omri. He was, in fact, a, a usurper who had exterminated the dynasty of Omri in a bloody coup. The black obelisk was discovered at Nimrud in 1846 by British archaeologist Austin Henry Layard.